travel, special Halloween this time. I just arrived to Mexico at Oaxaca for uh, for the Day of the Dead, Dia de Muertos. This is my Halloween destination for the, for this year. And look, it's sunny. It's amazing. <laughs> Oaxaca, this is a state uh, located in the southwest of uh, Mexico. Uh, you have about 4 million of uh, population. The, the biggest city is Oaxaca of uh, Juarez. And uh, this is the, the, the mundial capital of the Day of the Dead. First day at Oaxaca, we are uh, Friday. Uh, I'm not sure why I am. I'm close to my hotel. It seems that there's a little uh, parade who are, uh, are coming. You see it? We, we are in the action. This is an amazing trip that I will do. Dia de Muertos. Uh, this celebration is mostly originally from the southwest of uh, Mexico, but it's pretty much celebrated uh, everywhere. Uh, that was originally from the Aztec and Zapotec culture that was there. And after that, it was integrated in the Catholic uh, religion uh, from the Spanish. So uh, this is it. Day of the Dead, normally this celebration is for the 1st and 2nd of November, but in an uh, area like Oaxaca, this is celebrated more than one week, it's starting the 24th of October and going up to the 2 of November. Right now, this is the 25th of October, and as you can see, this is a big party, so uh, nice place for that. Very fun, nice animation. <laughs> the square in front of uh, Santo Domingo Church, uh, it's not necessarily the most populous, but it's definitely one of the most animated during the festival. Um, every evening, a lot of people are grouping there and they're starting parade or other activity. It's always fun to go and take a walk there.
As you can see, the, the, the dancers with, uh, with masks and with colorful uh, ribbons that are jumping and turning and dancing everywhere. I remember to see something similar to that when I was in Romania. Uh, they do that in winter festival in Bukovin and uh, they do something also like that in, uh, in uh, Bulgaria. Uh, this is fun to see that this kind of thing and this kind of festival can be very international. They do that everywhere. And now we will enter the Santo Domingo Church. So please remove your hat. Thank you very much. Uh, if there's something I like to do when I'm traveling is visiting church and cathedral. Uh, it's always beautiful. Most of the time this is where the art is, this is where the, the money is, this is where the, 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 a lot of accomplishment is done in this church. It's beautiful to see. And in, in Mexico it's not different. Oaxaca, it's a beautiful city. There's not a lot of tourists. Uh, they, uh, they don't annoy you very much, uh, it's fun. It's uh, very animated cities, a lot of party, a lot of uh, parade, and uh, the Day of the Dead is not uh, start yet, it will start in a few days. What is interesting is it's an uh, artist city. There's a lot of uh, workshops, there's a lot of uh, market for, um, for uh, a lot of musicians. <laughs> for the movie uh, of Pixar, Coco, that he started during the Day of the Dead, people came here to do the search for the movie here. We see it in the art, they have a lot of uh, little figurines of uh, animal spirit with color, color, a lot of color, so um, uh, from now it's starting well. Oaxaca, you have to come here at least for once. And the food is good, I eat grasshopper. Here a first little visit of uh, the city center of Oaxaca, uh, just next to the uh, Cathedral or Lady of Assumption. So that's it. During my trip, I ate a couple of times uh, some grasshopper, which is uh, a traditional uh, dish here in Oaxaca. And uh, we, uh, you have to be open-minded. They eat also um, ants and um, larva from uh, agua aguave. We are now seeing the Benito Juarez uh, market. And uh, now what we're seeing is the 20 November market just next to it. It's more like a food market. Uh, what we see right now is the smoking corridors. This is a corridor when you have a lot of uh, merchants selling uh, meat and chorizos and they are able to, to, to roast it uh, right there. So of course the corridor is full of smoke, full of good smell. I love this corridor. And now the beautiful Cathedral Our Lady of Assumption. Uh, that's, that's the biggest one uh, in uh, Oaxaca, very beautiful. Uh, something you have to know is uh, when you're visiting a church or a cathedral in Mexico, you can be sure that before it was a temple, Aztec or Zapotec uh, that was there before. This is what the Spanish was doing. They were destroying temple and cult uh, area and they were fabricating, uh, building a church and cathedral on the top of it, and they were using the old uh, stone and material for that. 
So uh, if you visit a church, you probably visit a temple also. Very amazing. Now there's a parade every evening, and uh, for what I see, it's never the same thing. I love the city, Oaxaca. Saturday evening, I came yesterday. Now this is the first night that I will be in city center of Oaxaca. So now I will be able to have a video of what's happened during the night. Ooh.
other than skeleton, you may think this is something new, uh, wearing a mask of uh, devil and uh, bad characters. It's come from the Western or Halloween, but uh, no, they, they used to, uh, to dress like bad spirit, devil, any kind of thing. And this is uh, uh, now that because of Halloween, I cross a couple of jokers and a couple of uh, it the clown. But uh, yeah, of course, they had, the, they had that thing. Here, the big thing for the kid is uh, this tubing balloon. Uh, you you give to them a tubing balloon like that, and uh, he's, uh, he's entertained for a couple of hours. This is amazing. We have pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I saw fireworks before, but this is the first time I see them right over me. I received some part. <laughs> This parade was not like other parade I saw, that was a wedding celebration. So this is why we see a, a big groom and a big... Oh, here are the marié! Hooray! They are kissing, they are happy, wonderful. <laughs> go the uh, artisan market of the festival is now uh, officially uh, open the inauguration is finished so uh, a nice place I am inviting to come in, uh, to go there and it's a pleasure for the eyes but less for the wallet so this is now official the day of the dead festival is now open it will be fun. The quality of the work of uh, these artisans is amazing. Uh, I really enjoy this colorful wooden animal, uh, like the kind that you see in the movie Coco. <laughs> This is not started yet, and I saw uh, already a lot of costume. But these ladies, they are the star. Everybody wants a picture with them.
That was very interesting. When you're traveling, it's not only to see uh, traditional and local uh, thing. Uh, they are so cultured that are modern and international, and you can see uh, these things adapted by the, 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 the local people uh, with the language. That's very interesting. <laughs> Monday, October 28th, we start to feel uh, the dead in the city. We start to see a lot of uh, decoration, ornament, the after los mortars. I am here since Friday, this is a party every uh, evening, but now the city starts to be darker and darker. It will be a nice trip. <laughs> kind of atmosphere you have in the street of Hoaka right now. This is amazing. I just changed a hotel to join my group. I will do another trip with the G Adventure companies. I did a first trip with them last year in Romania, Transylvania on the, on the trace of Dracula. And uh, now I just uh, reach my uh, group, my colleague uh, that we see here. We are learning to, to know each other and it's starting. It will be a nice trip. <laughs> First day of exploration with uh, G Adventures. So uh, today what we are doing, we're gonna to visit uh, some artisan village around Oaxaca and maybe find some nice treasure that we will bring, uh, that I will bring with me. But before, let's do a little orientation walk with my uh, team. So it's always nice to go back to the city center of Oaxaca. Uh, it starts to have a lot of decoration for the Day of the Dead. Uh, this street is the Alcala Street. It's coming from, uh, it's going from the city center and it's going up to the Santo Domingo uh, place. Uh, very touristic. <laughs> We just arrived in a little workshop in a little village that I don't remember the name. No. Uh, they are doing a lot of uh, colorful wooden animal, kind of animals that you see in Coco, the spirit animal. So this is our workshop for that. So we will, let's go see that. Thank 
We have a more people here. You can teach all the beautiful work. Okay? I go now. Um, we want to see uh, a couple of uh, few animal books to be using for the reality. Okay? Copal does this in Contrary to what we may think, the uh, art craft of Alibrije is in the Mexican culture only since the 30s. Uh, it's an artist called uh, Pedro Linares who started to do a colorful animal in paper and in wood during the, 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 the 30s. Uh, he inspired, inspired himself from uh, spirit animal. And since this time, uh, everybody, uh, a lot of artists is doing this kind of animal and okay. it's very beautiful. So, so uh, this is a, okay. this is very popular here, this kind of uh, animal. And uh, this is normal because they are beautiful. There is so much work in that. Uh, it, it, it can take uh, weeks and months to be able to doing that. Amazing. We don't have any color. He wants like this. I like it that way too. Yeah. Okay. All right. So cool. You got it? Yes. Here is another altar. Uh, I will come back to you later about uh, about altars uh, like that. Sorry. It's uh, it, it was uh, something very beautiful to see while while I was there. The visit of the shop after was uh, very, uh, very fun. They, they have so much beautiful uh, pieces. Uh, I buy uh, some of them, but damn, it's so expensive. But we can understand that. There's so much work in that. I'm in love with this piece. Hey, my, my friends, I have to go to do another tour, but Yes. If you ask to Mexican people the difference between the mezcal and the tequila, uh, for them it's day and night. Despite the fact that it's an alcohol made from uh, the heart of the uh, agave cactus. So uh, what they do, they, they take the heart, first they burn it in, a, in a, a place like that. After that they grind it, like uh, the way you see. They are extracting the sweet juice that after that they do a first distillation. Um, so they, 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 they heat it, so the alcohol is uh, evaporated before the waters, is going in a tube that is cooled down, and this is how they're collecting the, the alcohol for a first, uh, a first run. Then after that they do a second distillation, and this is when, uh, at this time, that they are adding the, the, the agave larva. The, the warmth that you find in the uh, in the mezcal, and uh, after that, of course, degustation. So everybody are ready for tasting. Everybody except me. <laughs> and finally, third and last visit of the day, a traditional textile uh, workshop. <laughs> Everywhere you can see beautiful altar like this. Uh, they are there to celebrate and remember the dead uh, with a lot of marigold flowers, smelling so good, with the uh, offering, uh, with gift. This is a very interesting tradition. This man is from uh, Zapotec origin, 
Uh, this is his culture. This is also his language. He's still speaking it. Uh, the Zapotec was a very important civilization that was uh, in the area of uh, Oaxaca. Uh, we will see a little later some uh, some uh, rune and some building uh, made by the Zapotec. It was amazing to see how many different uh, colors uh, they were able to dye the wool. Uh, they, they were using for the red the uh, cochineal uh, beetle. Uh, it's a parasite of the cactus. You see it uh, right now. He was holding uh, holding that. Um, when the, they dry and they crush uh, the cochineal, they are able to have very bright red that was used a lot by the Spanish. They bring back this uh, dye in, 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 uh, in Spain and they were using it for a lot, uh, for military and for, uh, and for uh, beautiful costume and also for painting. Wednesday, October 30, this morning, we will do some archaeology. We are now at Monte Alban. This is an archaeological site uh, for the Zapotec civilization. They were uh, here uh, at the top, at the 5th and the 6th centuries. And uh, there was a civilization uh, founded on the... Olmec civilization. So we will walk a little, we will put ourselves in shape, and let's go see these uh, wonderful uh, ruins. And I think there's some pyramid. at the entrance of the site. Let's go see the Zapotec. What we can see on the top of this mountain is the, the smell. Yesterday uh, it rained a lot. So today you have a very floral uh, smell. It's uh, it's nice. It's a it's a nice place. At the 16th centuries, when the Spanish came here, uh, this site was already uh, not used anymore by the local population, which is good because the Spanish didn't find this uh, this site and like i said before when the spanish find uh, a, a cultural and religious site they were destroying it to to put a cathedral or a church on it so this site was uh, protected by this uh, destruction which is very good
I am right now on the top of the temple on the Monte Alban. The site, the Zapotec site is amazing. The ruins are amazing, but the view, you can believe it. It's And here, there's a lot of echo. Hello! Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. I think, I think this is one of the best moments of my travel, if it's not the best one, over the Day of the Dead. I didn't like it yet, it's in two days. Travel before it's too late. Don't wait to get old. At the beginning, the site was used by the Olmec around the second centuries. But then uh, the Zapotec uh, came and it's them who uh, fabricate all this uh, building and, and uh, this, uh, the, this place uh, that was between the two and the six centuries. At the six centuries, you can have uh, 40,000 people, 40,000 Zapotec that was living here. So that was the, 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 the peak of, the, uh, uh, of this time. Then after that, the place was abandoned and uh, this is why the Conquistador didn't find it when, uh, when they came. In 1806, the uh, archaeologist Guillermo Dupé uh, had found uh, some stone with uh, the, the, the character that you see right now. It's called that uh, Dancente. It's a naked uh, character uh, dancing. He found that and that was the first uh, discover. Uh, after that, when they continued to search, they found all this, uh, this site. So. Uh, here we go, and this is after that that uh, the Mexican uh, government was able to, to, to bring back to life this uh, wonderful place. The steps here are uh, pretty high. What I found funny is the Zapotec uh, living here. They were uh, very small in their uh, diet. They didn't have a lot of protein. So they were measuring uh, 1.3 meters. With step like that, I don't understand. They were not walking, they were climbing. <laughs> we are on the top of the observatory, so let's observe. I just gave you a wrong information. This is not the observatory, this is the south platform of the site. Here we have the temple. No, sorry. Observatory. 
le tampo, donc le tampo principal, le tampo, where the human sacrifice euh, was done, wow. yeah, and, and the rest aussi. of the place. It's amazing. The Zapotec was openly practicing uh, human sacrifice for the god of the sun, so it's spooky to be to to think about all this blood that was spilled on the, uh, uh, that was spilled here. And here you see a stadium where you they have some uh, tournament, sport tournament, and the winner team uh, was sacrificing the losing team. So you want to win. After the visit of this morning of the Monte Alban, where we see the ruin of the Zapotec, this afternoon we have a cooking workshop uh, where we can learn uh, how to cook uh, the mole. Um, normally there's a lot of sugar in mole, so I'm not supposed to eat that. But what I found interesting is you, you can learn uh, to adapt the ingredient and the level of sugar that you put inside of that. So this is uh, what I am expecting uh, to be able to do after this workshop. This is starting to uh, visit at the, the, the market. Uh, right now you see uh, Sugar Skull, they are saying, they're selling that a lot uh, during the day of the day. And this is sugar bread with uh, some kind of icon that is uh, stick to it. It was, uh, it was nice. And now we are uh, at the workshop for the, the cooking. So before we do the tamales, we will learn how to do tamales, which is uh, some kind of uh, corn bread uh, cook in uh, banana leaf. So uh, we start by grinding the, the corn. It's when I take the video, I have the feeling it's an accelerate. <laughs> Then after that, we learn how to prepare the tamales. And I did it too. So we're jogging. Yeah, I can be dangerous with a spoon. Here we go, and now we start to cook the Molly Negro. It's starting with the Shilhuacles pepper, which is uh, some kind of big black pepper. They are the main ingredient for the Molly Negro. Uh, I think we can find that in uh, Mexican grocery. This is, uh, we need this uh, pepper. And after that, you have other kind of pepper. You have garlic, you have chocolate. You have cinnamon, you have a couple of spice, you have sugar, you have some bread to uh, thicken the, 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 the sauce. Uh, you have a lot of things. This is amazingly delicious. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> And 
after that, we mix everything. I was thinking uh, the, the, the Mole Negro was black because of the chocolate, but uh, no, it's because of the chocolate pepper. And of course, you need a good guacamole with that. Uh, it's done. And uh, we learn also how to make a tortillas. Very simple, just corn. Put it back on the plastic and then flip it. More difficult to, uh, to manipulate. And then the plastic? Yeah. Remember, you have to just yeah. put it off. Yeah. Oh, we take a picture of the. Did you get a picture? Hola, hola. 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 And finally, Polo a la Mole Negro. <laughs> It was amazing. Bon appétit, everybody. No, thank you. Right now it's rainy. It's crazy uh, when you go out uh, from the hotel in the street. There's a crowd right now with music. This is Amakai. That was absolutely crazy and chaotic. At a certain moment, I was asking myself if it was a, I was in the middle of a revolution. Uh, the, the, the car driver are very patient. They cannot do uh, nothing. Uh, this situation. What a party. Wednesday evening, October 30, the uh, eve of Halloween, but uh, here the party will be the 1st of November. Tomorrow we will visit uh, cemeteries to see people the uh, morning uh, they're dead. It's not really the party, but here uh, there's a uh, there's good vibe. Uh, it's raining, it's raining a lot, but it's not, that's okay, everybody is uh, on the party. Have a nice Halloween, everybody. Hello everybody, we are uh, Thursday, uh, October 31, this is Halloween for you, so I uh, wish you a good Halloween, but here this is not Halloween. The October 31 is the day just before the Day of the Dead, this is the day where uh, people uh, go uh, to cemetery to uh, honor children and young that died too early. So what we will do uh, today, we will visit uh, Petify Waterfall that uh, seems to be good. And after that, we will visit another Zapotec room. Uh, this is located at Mitla. So another place where uh, we have Zapotec room. And tonight, 
we will go to visit two cemeteries, Hohokatlen and the other one, what is the name? It's Ajamba. We will go to these cemeteries because this is where the altars and the offering are. It would be uh, very interesting to see uh, people uh, coming to, to, uh, to, to, to give their respect to the deceased. And uh, tomorrow, 1st of November, it will be the party, the big party. So I will take picture for you and have a nice Halloween. Here we go, we just arrived at uh, Hierve El Agua, the Petrify Shoot waterfall. Um, it, 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 it's supposed to be very beautiful. Let's take a nice picture for you. Indeed, indeed, I confirmed the place was amazing, but this is not because of the Petrify waterfall for me. It was the view. Look at that. Uh, from the place we were, I think uh, we were in uh, the middle of a valley with mountain. It was the view. It's the best view I saw uh, of all the trip. It's 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 um, it's amazing. And there was also some uh, natural water pool uh, of uh, calcare. So uh, that's, uh, that was, uh, that make a nice uh, place where you can swim and have a beautiful view. It's absolutely, it's absolutely amazing. Go travel. You can see at a distance the Petrify uh, waterfall. Uh, this one was a little far, but here is a more smaller, but a more closer. It looks like yellow, uh, yellow ice. So uh, that uh, that was interesting. We just arrived at Mitla to uh, visit other uh, Zapotec room. It's raining, it's winding, it would be a weird day. Sadly, this site was uh, still used by the local population when Spanish came. So uh, when the Spanish found the place, uh, of course, like they used to do, they destroy part of it uh, to, to destroy the belief of the local population, but also to uh, fabricate, uh, to build a, a church just, just next to it. So uh, part of the building are missing because the stone were used for uh, building uh, the, the, the church, uh, the church of Midla.
luckily, the Spaniards didn't destroy this beautiful mosaic on the wall of this, uh, this uh, Zapotec building. Look at that. This is incredible. They have uh, four different patterns for the four elements. So you have one pattern for the fire, the waters, the wind, and the heart. The, the heart. So it was uh, the, the way it's, oh, and now it's time to sing. So you spin me round, round, baby, round, 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 a return round, 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 round. I'm, I'm not sure I know the, 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 the song. Um, the way uh, the mosaic is done, uh, it's all made of little part that is uh, resistant to uh, her shake. So this is nice uh, arch architectural uh, uh, made by the local population. And the San Pablo Church, uh, this is where all the stone of the Zapotec building are now. So, uh, as you can see, outside of the, the church, you can see a wall uh, with the Zapotec pattern. Uh, that's mean uh, they really destroy something that was there and they built a church, a church right in the middle of Zapotec uh, building. We are uh, Halloween night, October 31. We just arrived at Hoho Catalan Cemetery to give our respect to the dead. So here we go. Let's go see that. It's some kind of disturbing to see so much people in a cemetery and uh, you, you have a lot of uh, spotlight and stall, you have toilet, you have uh, uh, food mar a merchant. Uh, so it, it, it's very, um, uh, it's very populous, very, uh, very spooky, very weird, but so interesting. Then you could do that if you want to. I want to cut it. Tonight, October 31, this is the time when uh, people come here at the Hoho Catlan Cemetery for respect. There's a lot of tomb with just uh, one number. Uh, this is four people who didn't have families. I have a candle, I have flowers, so I will light one of these tomb. We are close to midnight. We just arrived at Adjampa Cemetery. My God, it's party here. Donc à minuit, on se retrouve.
incroyable. As you see me right now, I'm leaving uh, something very special. I have difficulty to, 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 to express my feeling, to express how impressive and beautiful I am uh, seeing right now. It's, it's a very unique uh, feeling and, and, and experience to leave. To leave. Uh, the Azumpa Cemetery is way bigger than the Hohokatlan Cemetery. Uh, there's a lot uh, more tourists. Uh, it's easy to recognize them because uh, they are all wearing uh, uh, skull makeup. Uh, this is not the case of the local population. It's uh, normally you are not supposed to wear that, but it's accepted by the local population. And there was also an, orchest an orchestra that was uh, playing. It's animated, it's alive, it's joyful. I will be back here one day for sure, and I will stay all the night. And I recommend you to do the same because it's too much amazing. Friday, November 1st, the Day of the Dead. I read yesterday, yesterday the cemetery visit at Hohokatlen uh, uh, and uh, at Zampa, I think. It was very impressive. I didn't expect to see something like that in my life one day. Uh, now, uh, today is supposed to be the big, big party. This is today that I'm supposed to be uh, totally amazed. So we'll stay at Oaxaca all day. And tonight we go in a little village that I don't remember the name. It's just next to Oaxaca. So today we celebrate. Have a nice Halloween. Bon Halloween. Have a nice Day of the bon Dead. Des morts. And this is Et, November uh, 1st, November so happy birthday, Luca.
saw a lot of nice uh, makeup in the area, so I chose an artist. It was not the best I had. I don't know if you see it, but there's some makeup better than that. Everybody is ready to uh, go at the Etla Parade. Everybody is dressed like nice corpse, and me and dressed like a panda. Good morning, if you want. Because Judy's doing it. Judy's doing it eight o'clock. So, so, I mean, do it now if you want. But honestly, I'm not paying you. Yes, it's going to be eight and seven and seven. Me? It's you. <laughs> and you. And the back of you. Oh, you. Okay. And Juliana taking water for hydrating the bone. It's important. And what an amazing one! What an amazing dude! That is amazing! And that is not! We just arrived at the Etle village uh, next to Oaxaca. So uh, the big parade is supposed to be here, so the big party too.
the day that Oaxaca is interesting, but uh, the biggest party is in a little village next to Oaxaca, where it's uh, Etla. Um, every year, a lot of people are coming here and they take the street uh, with a lot of uh, devil costume and amazing uh, makeup, and, uh, and uh, that's a big party. It's, uh, it, it's very, very interesting, uh, different energy. Uh, than uh, what I see at Oaxaca. It's uh, probably because of the size of the village, which is uh, very small. Sadly, um, I don't have a nice picture uh, taken during the night because the light was not very good, so I was not able to uh, take good pictures. But I think right now you see uh, the, the kind of energy uh, there was here, and it's very amazing. Uh, come here, it's too fun, it's too much fun. Yesterday at Azampa Cemetery, that was the, the most amazing uh, time I had during the travel. We had the feeling that we were in a Tim Burton uh, movie. We, we were in Coco, in uh, Pixar Coco. Yep. Today, yesterday we were October 31, so it was the, the, the night before where people are going in cemetery. But today, November 1st, is the big parade. The energy is better, it's amazing, but for me, the visit of cemetery yesterday was better. And this is how I finish my travel at Oaxaca in Mexico for the to, to leave the Day of the Dead for Halloween. That was my Halloween special for this year. Last year I was in Romania, Transylvania on the steppe of Dracula. And next year I will be probably in Japan and uh, go to, vi to visit the suicide forest. So here we go, I found coffee, so I'm good. Happy Halloween, everybody. Oh, um, I still have a lot of video to, to, to do. Um, Moscow, New York, and St. Petersburg, but I think I would put that beside and do this video uh, first. Hey, 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 h